Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. And it will take you a second. Thank you. Now, I was going to go straight on from the previous video, which was about uh, using AI um, text to images um, to create your book covers, um, internal pages, uh, posters, anything. And I was going to go straight on to colouring books and how to use the same process to create colouring pages. But it turned out that Canva only allowed 24 uh, images a day. So I ran out of images. So what I thought I would talk about today is the quality of your images, the DPI, the PPI. Right now I can appreciate this is uh, quite confusing. Now I've been into photography for most of my life. But when it came to dots per inch or pixels per inch, this was always a debate. Now I'll try to put it as... <laughs> as simply as I can, and we'll start with DPI. Now, dots per inch. So that's basically how many, and the same with pixels per inch, how many dots you can get in an inch. Now, when you say 72 DPI, you're talking 72 by 72. So that's a lot of dots uh, in an inch. So, of course, when you're talking 300 by... 300 dpi you're talking 300 straight up say 300 across so it's 300 times 300 and that's 90,000 dots per inch dots in that inch so now dpi is really when it comes to printing and large printing presses actually spray the ink and the ink overlaps can overlap to create extra colors i'll just pull this round here a little bit so that i've got a better better view of some of this. I can't remember everything. I do try. <laughs> so when it comes to printing presses, they will use CMYK um, to create their colours. Now that's cyan, magenta, yellow and black. And they will use those colours and they will overlap them. There was the spray isn't precise it's it's when you get right down there so it overlaps and it creates extra colors so those four um let's say colors if you like uh, we're calling black a color in this they will overlap and they will create extra colors whereas with uh ppi you've got red green and blue so ppi and dpi uh people say there's there's no difference well there is there's a, there's a big difference but DPI is the printing side of things. It's the paper side of things. It's what goes in. So the higher the DPI, the better the image. Now, let's say, for instance, that 72 by 72 or 72 DPI on an image. Yeah, you could get it. You could get it really big. You could get a, you could have a resolution of, um, I don't know, let's call it 10 feet by 5 feet. Um, but at 72 dots per inch, um, it, it wouldn't look great. You know, it wouldn't look great unless it was far away on a billboard. But on the screen, not a problem. Not a problem at all. And that's why they ask you for these larger image files. That's why they say, you know, like so Amazon wants, wants 200 DPI images um, for printing. When you're thinking of PPI, just think of digital products. Think of your screen, think of your phone, think of um, uh, any electronic device that uses a screen, that has a small screen, any sort of screen, your television. And these monitors, look at them as PPI because um, they are pixels per inch, not dots. Pixels are digital. Electronic dots are sprayed from the printer. If you look at white on as a colour for your uh, projects and you're picking it from HTML colour picker or something like that online, then you're going to get a sort of a hashtag before it, followed by a load of letters and numbers or just letters. So white could be um, a hashtag followed by half a dozen Fs. Um, and in RGB and in, in colour uh, digitally, it could be 
255, 255 and 255. It's all numbers and all, all gets really confusing. Um, thankfully, we don't have to count or calculate those kind of things when we're printing our books. So yeah, basically again, go for the highest resolution you can in the image size you need. Don't just make it huge. Don't just make it big. Don't just make it sort of like 5,000 by 250, uh, 2,500. If you're going to put it on a page that's um, you're only needing a 1,000 by um, 500 size image at 72 dpi bring it down try to get up to that 300 dpi bring that image squash it down and um yeah you know it'll be much clearer when it comes out onto print so i hope in a way that that helps um, i'll put a bit of text in the description below um and don't worry too much you're working on a computer so think of it think of it as ppi even if you're being asked to send an image at 200 dpi what they're asking you to to send is a because it's been it's been saved digitally and it'll be published from there uh, from a digital source on amazon to the printers which will then print it at dpi and um, so the higher the ppi the better the dpi in that situation so you're going from ppi on digital dpi on the paper so when they're asking for like i say when they're asking for 200 dpi that's ideally what they want um that's what a printer wants you're going to try to send it as high a resolution as you can get it right up to 300 or what you see as 300 dpi on your computer if you can like I say, the higher the resolution, the better the image. And we're not talking billboards. We're not talking photographs. We're talking books. We're talking uh, images in books. So we're not talking massive big things. So I say keep it simple, but I hope I haven't just uh, uh, made that a little more difficult. I hope I've made that more understandable.